Now that we have the seats installed, the last thing that we need to do before we can actually start this baby up and ride it around is we need to install the seat belts. Now the types of seat belts you buy are dependent on what type of seats you have. Now, aside from just safety, you want to install seat belts either way because whenever you're going over bumps, it's easy to get shifted around in the seat. So, you know, if you aren't in the safety, which a lot of people aren't for some reason, um, you definitely want to have seat belts anyways. Now, the seat belts that I'm using are going to be bolted onto the frame in three different locations. One on the top and two on the bottom. Now, whenever I'm filming, showing you guys where to bolt it in, I'm probably not going to be able to uh, zoom in and show you guys exactly how they're going. So let me go ahead and show you guys. The seat belts use a special type of bolt. And let me show you guys how this works. All right, so here is the bolt that you use whenever you are bolting the seat belt brackets onto the frame. Now, as you can see, there's a little gap right here between the head of the bolt, and that's where the seat belt goes. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the seat belt on, right like that, and then you wanna hit this against the frame of your go-kart. Now, the frame, like I said, is gonna go in between the bracket on your seat belt and these washers. So again, remember this order, seat belt, frame, regular washer, lock washer, or split washer, depending on what you want to call it, and then your nut. So why did I just explain all that? Because probably when I'm filming, I'm not going to be able to explain that the frame goes right here, but that's where it goes. So now that you guys know the positioning of the frame, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to put these seat belts on. First of all, what you want to do is you want to unbuckle the seat belt completely. That way what you're working with is basically one big long strap. Now, aside from that, what you want to do is you want to kind of fold it and figure out which side goes on which. What part does the metal go on? What side does the clamp go on? And whenever you're holding it, you're going to see that as long as they aren't backwards like this, you'll know if they ba they're backwards because the button is facing towards you. You want to make sure the button is facing out. So in this seatbelt, and I'm pretty sure this is just an industry standard, the, I don't know, what's this called? Like the buckle part goes on the right hand side whenever you're sitting down and the metal part goes facing the outside. So now what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to weave it through, through the holes on your seat. So into this one, into the first one, and out of the second one. So go ahead and leave the sole the middle of the seat belt. And you know the middle is because it has that clamp in the middle, which is going to clamp into the back. Weave it through your seat until it looks something like that. Now again, like I said before, this seat belt is pretty much going to attach to your frame in three different locations. One is right behind the uh, driver's side, one is a bolt in the middle of your frame, and the other one behind here that you can't see, this is going to bolt onto the frame too. So if you guys are thinking that this is the only thing holding the seatbelt on, it's not. It actually bolts into the back. So let me go ahead and show you guys that right now. So now we can go ahead and start bolting the brackets on the seatbelt to the frame on your go-kart. So again, like I said, go ahead and start with your bolt and feed it through the bracket on your go-kart. And now you want to go ahead and feed it through the frame and then put your washer on, your lock washer or split washer, and then your nut. I call these bolts a lot by accident. Whenever I say bolt and I'm talking about this thing, it's called a nut. Now just tighten this bad boy up. Looks pretty secure and you actually want to pretty much tighten these ones as hard as you can because the last thing you want to happen is whenever you get into a crash your seatbelt to snap or your bolt to come loose and you go flying. So make sure these are really tight. Now the only other thing that you want to do before you screw in that second bracket is you want to make sure your seatbelt isn't twisted or tangled up. So go ahead and start from the first place you screwed in and make sure it's flat the whole way. If it's twisted it's going to look something like that. But if it's nice and flat, then, well, you guys are going to be able to tell. So now that you ensure that your seatbelt is nice and flat and not twisted, go ahead and bolt on that second bracket. So 
So once you've bolted in your third bracket, your seatbelt is finally installed. Now the only other thing you have to do, aside from putting in the seatbelt on the passenger side, is go ahead and get in and adjust your seatbelt. So the best way to adjust these seatbelts where they go over the shoulders is you have four adjustments. You have two on bottom that go around your waist, and of course you have these two ones that go over my shoulders that you can see right here. Now like I said, the easiest way to adjust it is to start with your waist. Pull it until it's nice and snug, not too tight, but nice and snug. And then once your waist is settled, then you want to adjust the ones on your shoulder and give a little bit of play because of course you want to be able to turn around, look around the corners, hit some jumps. So that's it. That is how you build a doom buggy. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to take this outside and see if it starts.